Hello, and welcome to another video focused on the property sets feature in ChemCAD 7. This video will show you how you can use a property set to customize the quick view pop-up for streams and set up a stream data box as well. We've already discussed how property sets can be applied to stream reports and also how to customize them in two other videos. Applying them to quick view and data boxes works much in much the same way. If you'd like to change what you see when using Quick View, I can go to Report, Quick View, and select the active property set that is used for the Quick View pop-up. So if I want to use Example, which I created previously, I select Example as my active property set and hover over a stream to generate the quick view pop-up. This is now using the template example to show the properties of this stream. If instead I'd like to make a slight change to the information displayed in quick view, for instance just add one property, it is often fastest to customize the active quick view property set. I can do this by going to report quick view and customize property sets. This quick view in parentheses indicates that the, what the active is referring to below. So I've got example highlighted as my active property set for quick view. And let's say I'd like to add vapor fraction to this property set. All I'll need to do is go over to the overall category and expand it and check the mole vapor fraction then click OK to save my changes and when I come back I can see that vapor mole fraction is displayed under the overall section in my quick view pop-up now. Next we'll generate a stream data box. To create the data box we go to format add stream box and we can use select streams or use one of the groupings here. I'll go with all streams. Now we're given a window that looks much like the customized property sets window and we're asked to choose a property set to apply to the data box. And if you want to make changes it might be a good idea to create a new property set or make a copy so that you don't alter the existing sets which you might already be using for other purposes. To save time I'll just use the example data set that we created earlier but before we move on there's one very important option that we may want to change for a data box and that's under the format tab. Max number of streams per row effectively decides how wide your data box will be. So if I'd like to display all of my streams side by side in a single row, I'll just go with 10 because I know I have less streams than that, so I won't max out the width of my data box. Once you've made all of the selections you'd like to display, in your stream data box. All you'll need to do is click OK and your data box will immediately be generated. And as you can see I'm showing every the information with my example property set and it is more than uh, or less than 10 streams wide so everything's displayed side by side. Once your data box is created, you can also edit the information that is contained within the data box by clicking Edit Data Box. And if you'd like to just change one thing, you can edit the current data box set, or you can apply an entirely different property set to display information that's already set up in that other template. Once you've made your changes, all you need to do is click OK and they'll be reflected in your data box after that. So that wraps up this discussion of quick view and data boxes with property sets.
Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other ChemCat 7 videos.